What's going on guys, Simsy here, and today I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Blackout Top 10 Pro Tip video. If there's anything on this video that you guys uh, have learnt, it would be awesome if you guys could drop a like, uh, subscribe if you are new, and most of all, if you really want to help the channel grow, it would be awesome if you guys could share the video, whether that's to somebody that you think um, maybe needs a little bit of help and you want to stop carrying them, or just anyone that you think will benefit from seeing the video, if you've got some mates that you want to help out, be awesome if you guys could share it around. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Catch you on the next one. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you a couple of tips that I've learned along the way of playing Blackout. Um, I played a lot of multiplayer in my time. So I would say that I've got a pretty decent knowledge of Call of Duty. But this was my first Battle Royale game. So there's a lot of things that I didn't necessarily know. Um, the very first thing that I'm going to show you is how I do a circle loot. Which looks a little bit like this. So I can see me walking around the bag. I'm picking stuff up, I can scroll through. The way I'm doing that, which a lot of people will ask me how I do it, is I put my hands in a claw grip. So this is a normal hold, just like this, just holding, imagine if you play flips, you hold it on L1, R1. If you play it on normal, you hold it on L2 and R2. All I do is I move those two trigger fingers. This index finger will come down onto the right and left arrow. This index finger will come down onto square. So all you're gonna do is keep your thumbs on the, on the, uh, on the analog sticks here. Sorry if it looks a little bit awkward. This is obviously isn't how I do it. And you can just hold it one to the left and hold one in the middle. So the you can literally just direct it. So imagine you're moving slightly to the left. You don't need to move far. So look at the left thumb just here. This, if you keep an eye on this thumb. So I'm moving slightly to the side. And then I can scroll through with my index finger, as you can see, moving backwards and forwards. And then I can pick up loot by this index finger on the square. So that is how you do the circle loot. Hopefully that gives you a good idea. I'm going to make sure you guys can see my fingers nice and close. So I'm literally moving my fingers down from L2 and R2 over to left and right. Okay? Tip number one, complete. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So the second tip is rather than doing a circle uh, loot, doing the exact same process, you can do a circle revive. So all I'm going to do, same position, fingers down into the claw, just like that, same way as last time. You're going to hold square, and you're just going to move one side to the left. I'm, going to keep, I'm just going to keep him down like that. One side to the left, and one side to the right. One side to the left, one side to the right. Look at the left analog stick and the right analog stick. One to the left, one to the right. You don't even need to use this finger. I'm not using that, that index finger at all. So literally, just you can do it the other way as well if you want. Uh, to be fair, that's I don't know how to do it the other way. I can't train myself. But you can go the other way if you want. I only know it. I can't think of that. I guess it's that. Yeah, you just go the other way. So one goes. They both. If you put them both in towards each other, that will do it. Or if you go both outwards. There you go. I've worked it out. Both outwards. Just like that. The reason why I'm giving you tips on both circle reviving and both circle looting is because if you can keep yourself moving just like that, then effectively you're making it way more complicated for yourself to, um, uh, what was I going to say? Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you make it way way more difficult for somebody, say if you're, especially when you're in a gunfight in this situation, if somebody's shooting at you, you're avoiding a sniper headshot a lot, a lot more than if... Right, so the third tip is you don't actually have to run up to a garage door all the way to open it, you don't have to run all the way up. Say if you've got somebody and you, you've got two guys that sat in a corner or on solo, you've got one guy in a corner and you want to just get him out of there or you know he's in there and he's just shut the garage on you, whether it's in a different building, like a bigger building that's further away, it works on everything, is rather than actually running all the way up to it, they can hear your footsteps, etc. What you can do is you can actually shoot the door open or shut. So if you see there, I've just shot the... Uh, garage door by shooting the button same as say if I'm back well, it doesn't really matter how far back you are I can open it from back here and nail them straight through the middle that sounds weird 
missed the, sh missed the button. God. Obviously, shy. it really doesn't make a difference how far away you are. You can still open open and close it from as far away as you want. If, you have, if you've got a sniper as well, you might have to compensate for bullet drop if you're doing it from ages away, but it does work. So that is tip number three. Okay, right. So the next tip is how you do a heal and repair of your armor at the exact same time. This is quite basic. It doesn't really matter what type of heals you've got. Um, so if I, I can do it with a first aid, for example, it's a little bit harder. But all you have to do is have your icon, your selector icon, over the repair. So you hold square to repair, press L1. Hold square to repair, press L1. You can keep the repair held in and it will keep going. So if I could do it with a trauma, for example, which is probably the most effective. See the cursor? It's no longer on the med kit, it's on the armor. Hold down square, hold L1, it will do it at the same time. Okay, so tip number five. Uh, a lot of you guys may know this, but believe it or not, I do still get some people ask me, which is fine. You might be new to Call of Duty. Um, it's not necessarily the most complicated thing in the world, but people say, how do you cancel equipment? So say if I've got this combat axe in my hands, some people will actually just throw that if they want to get rid of it. This works with frags as well. If you cook a frag, you've got a cluster in your hand, anything. All you, all you can do to cancel it is just hold down R1. Literally hold down R1 and then... Press triangle, I'll get rid of it. So you're holding down to imagine this is a frag cooking it. I could throw it in the air, or if I don't want to throw it anymore, simply just press triangle, it will go back away. Okay, so the next tip is gonna work on anything that's got a door that's not underneath something or a flat building just like this. Uh, but it's how you get a little height advantage to climb on top of roofs and buildings. Again, quite simple, but it does work for great plays. Using height advantage will definitely help you out in gunfights. So all you need to do to try and get some elevated positions is just make sure that the door is completely open outwards so that you can just simply jump on and climb up. Some of them you might need to, obviously this one's quite close to the door, some of them you might simply just need to just climb up and maybe hop back a little bit and just jump and climb. Others you might need to just look up and then hop up that way. Um, but it's a nice little way to get an elevated position. Circle collapse so yeah, just bear that in mind for getting some getting some height. So the next tip is going to be how to get away from a stun situation. If you didn't know, you can actually grapple when you when you've been stunned. So if, I always personally try and keep grapples equipped. One, because I like using them for movement. Uh, and two, just because if I do get stunned, it's quite good to get out of a stunned situation. So if I just get him to stun me. Hang on. See if he stuns me. Stunned. You can grapple into a different position. It doesn't necessarily give you a full range of motion. But it gives you enough to maybe get behind a little bit of cover. Um, so if you are around by, say, like a, a rock or something along those lines, you can then get away. Uh, and would at least give yourself more of a chance of, especially when you're near a rock because often somebody will stun you when you're behind a tree so you can just get a little bit of movement to the side and that will get you away so that's one little thing you can do the next one some people say about doing like spider type grapples like you often see me spider across the underneath a bridge or you might see me try and get up onto it say a lot of people use that ladder some think some people might not even in a place like this you might not expect to go for a little bit of movement on this so different ways that you can grapple sometimes helps in different situations. So you might see me sometimes grapple up the side of construction, which is quite nice. All you have to do is when you grapple, when you get to the end of the grapple, just before it goes right at the very end, is just jump, jump, like literally just press jump. It will jump you back a little bit and then you use another grapple. So what I mean by that is grapple up, come to the end, jump back, grapple again and you use that. Oh, I failed. But yeah, you can, you can literally just use it to get in from there. So... I don't know if I can run and jump and do that one actually. No, you can't. Yeah, literally, all you do is just like I just did, grapple up. I know I don't have any more. Then you can actually, oh, you can actually one shot it. There you go. I didn't even know you could do one shot, so that works. Okay, so the next tip is more going to be sort of things around movement, using bits of cover. 
One thing I would say is that in a situation where you're in a close gun battle, using a head glitch uh, is going to be a good friend of yours. Now, what I mean by a head glitch is say if I'm stood right in the open, he can see my entire body. So he's got a full shot on any part of my body that he likes. Whereas if I'm using a piece of material, say something like this little uh, skip here. Sorry, I forgot my words. All he can see is like the top part of my head. I've, I can still see all of him, so I can still hit all of my shots on him. But yet he can only shoot one part of my body. Give him a little combat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you can do that on sort of anything anything that's got a slight bit of cover. Just use cover and make it to your advantage. That's one little tip that I can give for you. It's just using that. Next bit in terms of movement as well is you might see that I try my hardest to not stand still. Again, where I come back to the circle looting, circle reviving. It's a massive benefit to you in a battle royale game to keep yourself moving as much as you can. The reason being is that if you stand still, you might you might get shot up and you don't have time to react. Whereas if you're moving, you've got time to sort of give a little zigzag. So all you'll see me doing from there is a little, little side to side on the analog stick. I try and keep moving as much as I can. If you press sprint once as well, it'll keep sprinting. So if you just give yourself a little bit of movement, if you're getting shot... It obviously won't work in a pre-game lobby, but if you're getting shot, the best thing you can do is keep moving. Make yourself a difficult target. Don't make it too easy for the enemy to shoot you. So keep yourself moving. If you want to jump, if you want to slide, especially if you're getting sniped, just keep yourself keep yourself moving. Give yourself the best chance. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to make sure that you don't get killed every time, but it's going to give you a better chance of getting out of a position where you're getting shot up. It gives you a chance to get behind some cover. So maybe I'm getting shot from the stairs. From over there, if I can slide out the way, use the cover, get a heal off, bounce around, get another kill. You can. The other way of doing it is you can pop a heal just by moving side to side. The reason why I'm going side to side here in this situation would be because I can still see where he is rather than if I stand flat. Might be good to pop a for little safety heal, but when if I then start going side to side, it lets me still see where he is whilst I'm still popping heal. Obviously, if I can't go weak here, but you can still see where the enemy is. That's one tip. Okay, so the final tip that I'm going to give is that you actually can hip fire as you mantle through a window, which might come in clutch, especially if you're in somewhere like a shed or if you're rushing. I play quite aggressive, um, so I tend to be playing at full pelt. What you can do is as you approach a window, you can pre-fire and hop straight through whilst you're shooting just to give yourself that slight edge, give yourself a little bit of surprise on the enemy. So if I use this window, for example, if I know somebody's in a corner there, I'll start shooting them through the window, jump through, and hit fire. So you can aim out. Still lets you climb. So it gives you that chance because you've got that little bit of cover on the window here, so you can just carry on going. I had one bullet left, so that didn't really demonstrate it too well, but you've already seen it on the last one, so you can do it the same as you climb out. It's only as you hit fire, because you can't it you can't do it as you're aiming down sight or ADSing. You can only do it as you hit fire. But yeah, so that is gonna be the last tip. So hopefully you guys have found something within this tip video that's helped you. If you have, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Hopefully that helps improve some of your game. Um if you can, if it has done as well, it'd be awesome if you guys could share the video around. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. Laters.